Hello future scientists! Let's continue our lesson in Unit 2, Separating Mixtures. Today we are going to learn about mixtures and how to separate them. We are going to choose equipment to separate a mixture and we are going to draw a clear diagram. We will assess after if you can talk about mixtures and how to separate them or can you choose the right equipment to separate a mixture and also if you can draw clear diagrams some useful links to help us understand more about the lesson and these are the keywords which you can use to label a diagram and to complete your sentences please get your yellow notebook and a pen to write these keywords equipment are objects that can be used to do something magnet is a metal object that can attract some other metals magnetic is a material that is pulled towards to a magnet. Mixture is when two or more materi materials are mixed together. Non-magnetic is a material that is not attracted to a magnet. Separate is to put into groups. Sieve is a piece of equipment with holes that will let only small things go through. For our starter activity, look at the picture. Where does rice come from? We know that rice grows as the seed of the rice plant the grains of rice grow inside a tough case called a husk. Okay, so this is a slow-mo video of rice falling. And I want you to look carefully at these photos. Why do you think throwing the rice in the air will separate the rice from the husk? You can see people throwing rice in the air. Winnowing is used to separate heavier and lighter components of a mixture by wind or by blowing air. This method is commonly used by farmers to separate lighter husk particles from heavier seeds of grain. The wind blows the husk away because they are lighter than the rice. We know that when two or more materials are mixed together, it is called mixtures. Even though the composition of a mixture is variable, each component retains its characteristic properties. Solid objects mixed together, like in a tossed salad, suspension such as oil and water, and macaroni with mixed veggies are all examples of mixtures. What is equipment? These are objects that can be used to do something. Some mixtures can be separated by hand, but this is very slow. The equipment this man is holding is used to separate soil from old plant roots. It has many small holes for the soil to fall through. The roots are too big to go through the holes. This piece of equipment is called a sieve. A sieve is a piece of equipment with holes that will only let small things go through. Using the right equipment makes separating mixtures much faster. This magnet is separating a mixture of different metals. Remember, a magnet is a metal object that can attract some other metals. When materials are made into a mixture, the properties of each material do not change. Some of the metal in this mixture is magnetic and some is non-magnetic. Magnetic is a material that is pulled towards a magnet. Non-magnetic is a material that is not attracted to a magnet. Magnetic separation means separation of a mixture by using a magnet to attract magnetic materials. Metal cans can be recycled but there are different types of metal that need to be separated. This picture shows metals are separated from the heap of waste materials by using magnetic separator fitted to a crane. When a crane fitted with powerful magnetic separator is uh, lowered on the heap of this waste material, then the metals present in the iron objects at a separate place. Remember that when a magnet is held over a mixture of different metals, only the magnetic metal will be attracted to the magnet. Not all metals are magnetic. Gold, silver, and aluminum are some examples. We will continue to learn about mixtures and how to separate them. We will also uh, choose equipment to separate mixtures and we're going to draw clear diagrams. Equipment are objects that can be used to do something. These are some equipment that can be used to separate mixtures or objects. And this is an interesting clip, okay, from a film called Toy Story 3 where toy characters have to escape from a recycling machine with the help of, with the help of a magnetic separator. Let's watch this. 
The UAE is the most quickly evolving, modern, and competitive industrial sector strategy for sustainable growth in the industrial sector in the Arab world. Construction business is one of the significant contributors when it comes to the ground of the UAE. When it comes to the manufacturing of building materials, cement, ceramics, pipes, roof blocks, and glasses are the top priorities. The UAE is a significant producer of glass and Ras al Khaimah is one of the preferred grounds as a unit set up there holds a capacity to produce 700 tons of glass per day. Sun mixtures can be separated or mixed by hand using this equipment. Hand mixer, balloon whisk, strainer, rake. Now, what is a hand picking? It is a separation technique used to remove the unwanted impurities from the mixture by hand. It involves simply picking out substances by hand and separating them from others. Hand picking method can be used when items differ on the basis of color, shape, and weight. Examples are red and green crepes, mixed knots, and assorted buttons. These are some common equipment used for mixing. You have the tank mixer, a meat tumbler, like planetary cake mixer, dough mixer, juice maker. So all of these are used to mix liquids to liquids or liquids to solids. Separation equipment is a method of separation of a substance into its components and the removal of impurities. So these are some separation equipment. We have a separating funnel used to separate immiscible liquids. Magnetic separation, which I showed you, uses a magnet to remove impurities and other magnetic materials from metal. Distillation apparatus uses the different boiling points of the components in a mixture to separate them. Filtration machine used to filter, thicken, or clarify a mixture of different elements. Evaporation used to separate a soluble solid from a liquid. Think like a scientist. In your learner's book page 43, an amazing mixture. You will be challenged to separate a mixture of sand, rice, and paper clips, and some equipment to choose from such as spoons small and large funnels, measuring cylinder, caps, different types of magnets, small sieve, large sieve with large, medium, and small holes and plate. When doing your experiment at home, check if using wire or plastic mesh as a sieve, make sure that any sharp edges are securely covered and ask for an adult supervision. Think about how you will separate a mixture of sand, rice, and paper clips. This activity focuses on using simple instruments such as strainers and funnels to separate mixture by size. To separate a mixture, it is helpful to know some of the properties of the components. Are any of the objects magnetic? What equipment will you need? How will you use it? Young children just like you spend a lot of time sorting objects by hand. However, tools can be used to separate mixtures. Strainers would be more efficient than separating the mixture by hand. Sand is a non-magnetic solid, so a small whole sieve can be used to separate from the mixture. The grains of sand are smaller than the rice, so they will be able to go through the sieve into the plate below. The rice and paper clips are much bigger and will get caught in the sieve. The rice is not magnetic, so it will stay in the sieve. The paper clips are made of steel and will be attracted to the magnet. Use a magnet to separate the paper clips from the rice that are left on the sieve. Then draw a clear diagram to show how you separate the mixtures. Now apply what you have learned from this lesson. Do some research. Did you find it easy or difficult to choose the equipment you needed? Thinking about the physical properties of objects helps you to decide strategies for separating mixtures. It would be easier to choose what equipment to use if you know which strategies would be the most efficient. For example, using a magnet to separate mixtures of magnetic and non-magnetic metals at a recycling plant may be a more efficient method than separating the objects by hand. If you choose something you did not use, next time think carefully about what you are going to do before you choose your equipment. Scientists use knowledge about separating mixtures to solve real-world problems. How do chefs separate foods when cooking? 
always observe and describe the physical properties of the mixtures. In the kitchen, cooks normally use a fine mesh strainer or a muslin cloth to separate a clear liquid from its mother mixture. Filtration separates solids of different sizes whereas evaporation removes a liquid from a solution to leave a solid material. Future scientists, thank you for listening.